Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of rawreadinghealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So, today I want to actually answer a question that I received a few weeks ago from someone and I love the question and it was regarding how much fruit is okay to have on a cooked food diet. And I, you know, you know I've, I've had talked about this many times in the blog about people that have fears of having too much fruit and, and you know, everyone's on the, the no carb craze and, and for a lot of people that are trying to lose weight or have even, you know, blood sugar issues, things like that, there is always a concern as to how much fruit is okay. And, and this is a great question, especially considering it's, I'd say, a very different guideline for someone that is either on a cooked food diet or a raw food diet. So I want to talk about, first of all, the importance of having fruit in the diet. And I have to say, I believe everyone should have fruit in the diet, whether they're on a cooked food diet or a raw food diet, whatever it is, everyone should be having fruit. I mean, even, even the Inuit up in the, the high north, up in Canada, north, northern Canada, even them during the summer when there's berries that are growing, they have berries. You know, and, and their diet is, is pretty much mostly animal products, animal fats, things like that, but they're always getting in a little bit of fruit when, when it's possible. So there's something to be said about that, that it's, it's, I mean, Mother Nature made fruit for a reason. And I think that the first thing people have to really like start doing if, if they want to get their, their health on track and they want to get their diet going well, is the easiest thing to do is to replace the junk food with fruit. So if someone is, is used to having every day, having a candy bar in the middle of the afternoon or having dessert after dinner, this is a good time to replace the cakes, the donuts, the candy bars, the soda, all of that with having fruit or having a fruit smoothie, things like that. Because that's an easy switch and you'll gain so many benefits from it because not only is fruit full of vitamins and minerals and fiber, it's also full of antioxidants and you'll find more antioxidants in fruit than in anything else. And that's, antioxidants are what prevent the body from oxidizing pretty much. So it's not only anti-aging, but it's also helping to prevent things like cancer, things like that, which we're more susceptible in this day and age with the pollution out in the air and, and the water systems, like all of that, you know, that there's just a lot of, a lot of stuff that our body is constantly in contact with and antioxidants help to neutralize a lot of the oxidation. So it, it's important to get fruit into the diet, but also it, it's a matter of, I think it's a personal thing that people need to sort of assess what their diet is like and what their needs are like. If someone is on a cooked food diet and they're extremely active, then sure, bring in a lot of fruit. You know, that's that's great. It's, it's not only going to give you the, the extra carbohydrates you need, but it's also going to hydrate you and bring back a lot of the vitamins and minerals that you might lose while, you know, under strenuous exercise. But let's say someone is, you know, driving all the time, they barely move and they're at an office, now should they be adding in all this fruit on top of having all the junk food and, and on top of having a lot of refined starches and flours and a lot of refined carbohydrates, should be, they add in a crazy amount of fruit on top of it? You know, maybe not. You know, it's maybe it'll be a little bit too much, especially if they're not burning it off throughout the day. The smartest step to make is first is to replace the refined stuff with the whole stuff. Okay, so that means getting rid of a, the pastries, the the junk food, things like that, and replace it with having fruit. The second thing would be is to look at your diet and, and be like, okay, well, you've gotten out the junk food and the sweet stuff and you replaced it with, with fruit, but what's going on with how much refined flours you're having, things like that, like how much pasta you're having every day and, and bread and, you know, even though these things are not sweet, they're also, still they convert into sugar in the body and they're high in carbohydrates. And if someone, let's say, is like on a vegetarian diet and all they have is potatoes, 
pasta, rice, and and white flour and bread all day, and, and you know, like, should they be having all this fruit on top of it? I would say, I'd say start cutting down on the refined stuff, adding in some fruit, and adding in a crazy amount of vegetables. That's what I would suggest. That, therefore, you have a more well-rounded diet rather than being on a diet that is a lot of fruit and then a lot of refined carbohydrates because it's not going to do your body so well. You know, that really you need to lean and balance that out and that would be to add in more vegetables. I think people should be concentrating more on the vegetables and how to get those into their body and not worry so much about the fruit. I find the more that people get more vegetables into their system, a lot of their cravings and a lot of overeating on, on sugary food, it, it it starts balancing out without even having to make so much of an effort. So I, I think that a lot of times people get so worried and so hyped up about, you know, how much fruit should I have? It's like, forget about that. Put, you know, put the, the, the light on how much vegetables, how can I get those into my body? You know, how can I sneak them in into, the, into every meal? You know, the more vegetables you have in, in your diet, the better you're going to be. That, that's my view. Now, one thing I do want to point out is, is that a lot of people are on, on the low carb diets and a lot of people are trying to lose weight and a lot of people have blood sugar issues and there is a concern like, you know, how, what is the right amount and honestly I can't say, I cannot give someone like a general amount someone should have because it differs from person to person. It really depends on their activity level, what they're doing throughout the day, and what else they're eating around it. But one thing I can say is that, and I see this a lot, that a lot of times people go onto a low carbohydrate diet and they cut out grains and they cut out fruit on top of it and they run into a lot of problems. And that's where I would say cut out the grains but add in a little bit more fruit and, and you'll find it'll work better, you'll have like less digestive issues, all that. Because I see a lot like, you know, I coach people with their diets and I'd say, I'd say maybe 85% of the people that I work with, with, with their health goals and things like that, are not on a raw food diet at all. And, you know, we're just working on getting them on a whole food diet. And this is something that comes up over and over again where, I have clients that are losing weight, they feel great, and you know, and then, then all of a sudden they'll one day say, you know, but my digestion's a little bit so-so. And, and I'll be like, okay, well, you know, what, what's your diet been like? And, you know, maybe this is a good time to start adding in a little bit more fruit because I find for a lot of people with digestive issues, a lot of it can be resolved by just adding in a little bit more fruit into the diet. I find fruit is great as a digestive aid and even better than vegetables. Vegetables are great with, with also with digestion, but I find fruit in general really cleans out the digestive system. And just by adding in a little bit, you know, a, an, an extra portion or two of fruit can make a huge difference. And, and it's interesting to me that the moment I say, well, you know, maybe add in another, a little extra bit of fruit in your diet and people get a little bit scared. <laughs> and and then I have to remind them that like, you know, a lot of them are not eating any grains. They're not eating the bread or the pastas, things like that anymore. That having, you know, a little extra fruit every day is not going to throw their diet off. And in fact, it'll actually make it a little bit better and it'll be more satisfying as well. So that's something to consider when you're uh, concerned about how much fruit to put into your diet. Assess the whole situation. Don't think so much and concentrate so much on the fruit. As I would say, look at everything you're eating and, and ask yourself, is this a balanced diet? Am I getting in the, the carbohydrates? Am I getting enough carbohydrates? Am I getting too many carbohydrates? Am I getting enough protein? Am I getting enough fat? Am I getting enough vitamins and minerals? Am I get, bringing in enough vegetables, <laughs> enough greens, enough whole fresh food and and that's something too to really ask yourself you know look at it like how much of the food am I eating is fresh how much how much of it is is processed how much of it is 
old and, and packaged, you know, things like that. Because then you're able to say, okay, you know, I need to balance this out a bit. If I'm having too much processed food, I need to bring in more fresh food. And, and things like that will, once you look at the whole situation and your whole diet as a whole, it's, it's easier to make more, better decisions that will have more of an impact rather than always focusing on, on one thing because I find more and more people just have a tendency to hone in on, on the fruit or hone in on the carbohydrates but they're forgetting the rest and, and I think there's other things like vegetables, things like that, that really we need to be putting more emphasis on that than worrying about how much fruit, okay? So that's my tips for today and I'm wishing you guys a fabulous day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!